A lot of people ask how I managed to look so awake so early in the morning. And the truth is, I most certainly do not. Guys, my eyes just opened approximately 10 seconds ago. It's two o'clock in the morning. I don't have time to wake up before recording this because I have to be on air, ready, and actually looking awake by five. But yeah, I wanted to walk you guys through my morning routine. Do you guys hear my voice? I, I literally just woke up, I'm not kidding. As I was saying, this is the routine of a morning reporter. I've been doing this four years, more than four years, so kind of crazy, but at the same time, I feel like it's like second nature to me by now. And in case you're wondering like, oh my gosh, is Zach like just sitting there like being awoken? Nope, he is not here. He is actually on a bachelor party trip, which is why I am doing this. I thought it was actually perfect to show you my morning while he is gone so that I can be as loud as I need to be. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreak And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did Hello. I think my voice is once again working. I just needed the shower, guys. Just needed to get a little bit clean. That's always the first step of the morning. I have to brush my teeth, shower, pour my tea in water, but very next thing I do is I need to check my story. And by the way, this is something I was never able to do before the pandemic because we got these laptops after the pandemic hit so that we could work from home. So this is amazing. This means I'm actually able to go into what is called iNews and look at the rundown, which this is a detailed list of everything that's gonna be happening in our morning show. You have different show times. Right now I'm in the five o'clock show. So the first thing I do is I see when is my first hit time. I can see my name right there, CB you that's my initials and it looks like my first head time is 506 and I can confirm this is indeed what I was supposed to be covering one thing that is bound to happen at least once a week is your story getting changed whether it's because of breaking news or something more significant where I wake up thinking I'm covering one thing and then oh wait I'm covering a completely different thing and I kind of have to scramble and sometimes I'm covering something that's an hour away an hour and a half away like there are definitely some uh, some morning treks that we have to make but so far crossing our fingers Things are looking pretty normal this morning as they were planned. And my story is all about how the pandemic has impacted children and how it's impacted children differently. So I spoke with a mom yesterday just about how her children have been handling it, doing summer school, preparing for next year. And right now I am putting all of my scripts in for the five o'clock, the 5.30, 6, 6.30, 7, 7.30 all the shows I'm in this morning so that it is good to go. And now my friends, we are entering sacred ground because this is where the magic happens. And when I say magic, I truly do mean magic. A lot of miracles are performed here each and every day. And just to recap, I am a morning reporter Monday through Friday. As I said, I've been doing this for years, which by the way, can I let you in on a little secret? I actually can't even sleep in until my alarm, which is so pathetic and so sad. I don't know what it is. It's just like my body just knows I need to get up and for my job, every minute matters yeah i'm live at five but there are times it's breaking news and i have to be live by 4 25 in the morning which is when our show actually comes on air yes the news starts at 4 25 it kept getting pushed back earlier and earlier throughout the years because it used to only start at five and then they changed it to 4 30 and then 4 25 i think it was like a competitive thing every station wanted to be first but Listen, if they tell us we're starting at 3 a.m., no, ain't happening. But it always hurts my soul a little bit when I meet people on stories and they're like, oh man, you're the morning reporter, you must get up early. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I do. And they're like, what, like 4, 4.30 a.m.? And I'm just like, oh, wow, I wish. So no, 2 a.m. is really the the time of the morning that we try to get going. A lot of people ask how the heck I do this. And guys, I'm telling you, anyone can do it. I promise I don't have special superpowers. Yes, I'm naturally a morning person, but this this goes beyond being a morning person. I mean, this I'm practically being like a night person right now. And this is very necessary. I feel like you can have the best attitude in the world, but it shows. It can show on my face. I do get under eye bags. I get circles. I look tired. There's no, I mean, I guess you can hide it with makeup, but when the makeup comes off, I mean, there's no hiding that I do look tired quite a bit, but I really do try to make an effort to stick to a routine and get sleep. And am I always successful? No, but what I do now is a split sleep schedule, which it kind of changes all the time, how long I nap, how long I sleep at night, but 
Right now I've been doing a routine where I go to bed around like 1.15 and I wake up around five. So it's like a four hour nap right there, really a slumber. And then last night, for instance, I went back to bed at 10. And the craziest thing, I don't know any other way of life. I graduated college, I moved to Ohio three days later and I've been a reporter, a morning reporter, ever since, so I don't know what it's like to work a full-time nine to five job, truly, because I only ever had internships, which you only do a few days a week. And then besides that, I only had odds and end jobs where, for example, I worked at a deli where I was working from like 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., worked at Victoria's Secret, odd hours as well, summer camp, weird hours, like I've never had a normal job. So for me, this is normal. And when I fill in on day side, which is 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., it's weird. It is so weird. I wake up and I'm like, what, the sun's already up. Like. Man, the best part about this shift is I feel like I'm so ahead of the game. Like, I just love that feeling of being like two steps ahead. There's a party downtown, someone says that you're coming by. Let me know when you're here, meet me up for a smoke outside. Now comes time to pick out an outfit. As you can see, I have an entire closet dedicated to my work dresses, which I feel like every reporter has to do. You just have so many of them. And as you can see, these are color coordinated so that it's very appealing to the eye, but it doesn't get any easier. I hate picking out an outfit. I, it just, ah. Uh. I, I feel like, does anyone else feel me on this one? I have like four dresses I like and all the other ones are just filler dresses. All right, this is one that I don't hate, I don't love, just feeling very neutral about it. And uh, one, one hidden secret of TV news reporters, pretty much uh, nine times out of 10, we're not wearing good shoes. Simply put, there, there's just no point. You don't see them, even though oh my, I say that and I feel like they get in so many live shots, like kind of like what I'm doing, like fun and active stuff. But today I promise you're not gonna see them, you're not gonna know. And another thing, I am breaking the golden rule of TV news where they say you're actually not supposed to wear patterns. Apparently it does not look good on TV, but I say, you know what, sometimes, uh, Sometimes you gotta bend the rules a little bit because I thought this dress was cute and I wasn't gonna not buy it. Also, it is very important to note, my hair is not gonna look like this. I need to keep it like this though for as long as possible so that it can set. And then I go through it to get the looser waves look. I promise I'm not going on air like this. Another thing to note, I really need to make this clear guys. I do in fact wear deodorant. On my last morning routine, there were like three people who commented saying like, what, she doesn't even wear deodorant every morning? And I'm like, guys, do you really think I am showing you every single second of my morning routine. Like, yeah, I am walking you through my morning routine, but gosh, maybe I'm not gonna be putting deodorant on on camera. Like, mm, I'm still bitter about it. As for my TV makeup, I mean, pretty much I have this down to a science by now. After doing this for four years, I feel like I've really come to realize what looks good on air. And I've also definitely realized what does not look good on air because uh, let's just say I've made a few, a uh, few fashion or beauty mistakes, quite a few. But my go-to look is pretty neutral eyes, that are bold though, like bold neutral. I'm not out here wearing purple eyeshadow, but it definitely is like a bold, especially like I really like putting black eyeshadow on my waterline, it makes my eyes look bigger, and then neutral lips. And now it is time for the moment of the morning, the hair flip. Whoa, I did two of them today. I, I didn't I didn't know I was gonna do that, but I just kind of went crazy. Okay, so this is, this is not looking good. Okay, the, I say this every morning though, and then sometimes we make a comeback, sometimes we don't. I'm not gonna go crazy with it though, because it's so freaking humid outside, so I want to let it like sit, and then I'll play with it more when I get to my location, which for today's story, we're just going to what's called like a generic location. I did a story about a local mom of three. I'm not about to be parked outside her house doing live shots, so we're just gonna be doing the city view this morning. And by the way, if you're new here, Every single morning is different, which is why you gotta hit the subscribe button down below because I like to take you guys behind the scenes with me as a reporter here in Cincinnati. But today's gonna be a more chill morning for my live shots. Whereas yesterday I was putting out fires on TV and doing some pretty crazy stuff previewing a women's firefighter class. So it really does range quite a bit. And that seriously is the best part about this job, just that no day is the same. You're always doing different things. You're always switching it up. It does cause like not anxiety, but just I feel like that's why I don't sleep in into my alarm because I'm just like, what even is today going to be? Like, it's just no day is the same. So I'm just like, what? Like, what's gonna happen? I don't know. There's just something about it, but that's also why I love it. And oh my gosh, we gotta smell good, guys. We gotta smell good. These are my two go-to perfumes in case you are wondering, in case you wanna smell like me. And I like, I just don't know how people 
wouldn't like these perfumes. They smell so freaking good. First one's kind of embarrassing to admit, but I've come to terms with the fact that I don't care. This stuff smells amazing. Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture. I will never, oh my gosh, it's like kryptonite. I will never get tired of this stuff. And then I also love Daisy, but specifically this is the Daisy Love. Oh my gosh, this smells so much better than just the regular Daisy, guys. I'm obsessed. This one kind of has like a more mature scent, I feel like, which, hey, sometimes I don't want to be mature. Sometimes I want to just, you know, be a rebel. One of the last things I usually do before I leave for my live shots is write a web script based off of my log of my story and all of the quotes of who I interviewed. But because I was talking to you guys, I don't think I'm gonna have time for that. So instead, I'm just gonna write that maybe in between live shots. We're switching it up. I'm making some sacrifices for you. And now I'm just packing my backpack which I just put in my laptop we also have my makeup bag which this just contains pretty much a whole bunch of lip products powder because oh my gosh you are gonna get shiny out there I also have my two phones this is my work phone as you can see it is 408 we are live at 5 so we have to really hurry and then my personal phone and that should be it. The very last thing I do each morning is I pour my tea and I get a lot of questions naturally about how much caffeine I drink each morning. As soon as people find out what time I wake up, they pretty much always say, oh my gosh, you must live on coffee. And I really don't. First of all, I don't drink coffee because it upsets my stomach even though I love the taste. So I'm a green tea drinker and I only let myself drink two cups a day. I can drink decaffeinated, but I really don't want to rely on caffeine. Like I want my body to know, hey, if you're not sleeping, you're not getting this. There's only one way to make you feel good and it's to get sleep. Like there's no getting around getting sleep. And honestly, I don't really need that much. Like I feel like when I am on the go and I'm so busy, like I'm not, tired. I, I, I just, I don't know. Like it just, I feel like when you're moving, at least for me, like I don't feel tired throughout the day. At the end of the day, yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need my nap. But as I'm like, go, 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 I'm not tired. Never wanted to end it like we did. I guess shit happens for a reason. But it's like something feels different from back then. Why don't Oh my gosh, we have had a wild past couple of minutes. So at the spot we normally go to for a city view, we pull up, or I pull up, there is a couple that is just making out, like full on making out. They look up, they see me, and then they continue making out. And it made me nervous and I fled the scene. <laughs> and now we are at a new location, looks just as good, but there are no people making out here. So yeah, we're live in about, what time is it? What time is it? All right, it is 4.54. We are live in approximately 10 minutes. Hey Bob, there is no one size fits all to learning and that has never been more true than right now. They didn't do too much work. They did enjoy their summer as well. For now reporting live, Clancy Burke, Public World News. Whoa! All right guys, we've got the view. This is what I see. It's a dark hole with a light and then Cliff over here. Oh God, you can even see Cliff. <laughs> You can, you, you're, you, no one can see you. All right, for now, guys, he's just gonna be my mysterious photographer. <laughs> and then he also sets up this light here as well. But yes, this is the view of the morning, the river view, and it's so nice out today. Guys, I can tell you some of these, uh, some of these mornings when it's not nice out, it's, uh, it's not a good time just standing out for every single hit because we're live every half hour. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my morning routine. Pretty much the only difference is that normally I'm not as loud because I'm sneaking around the apartment trying not to wake Zach up. But yeah, that's pretty much what every morning of mine looks like. Just trying to not look like I'm dying, trying to not look like I'm about to fall asleep in any second. And uh, what, you'll notice like once I'm awake though, I'm awake. Like once I'm up, I'm up. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I pretty much just post random vlogs, random things of a morning reporter. A lot of times just standing out in the darkness as you can see. And of course, all my social media will be linked down below as well.